in my first book, Closing the Food Gap, Resetting the Table in the Land of Plenty, I describe three basic food gaps that we have in this country. One is hunger and food insecurity. The second is obesity and overweight. And the third one are food deserts. We have almost 15% of the American population now is considered hungry or food insecure. At the same time, we know that obesity and overweight continue to be major health problems in this country. Uh, recent studies have shown that if we don't get some of those problems under control, we're never going to get health care costs in general under control. Food deserts, which is the, the third gap, um, which is essentially communities which don't have access to good, healthy, affordable food stores. They don't have farmers markets or they don't have any kind of supermarket. All of this is getting a lot of public attention and, and I think much of it is due to the interest of the first, the first Lady Michelle Obama who has decided to take on obesity as particularly childhood obesity is her primary area of concern right now. She is going to try, I think, through the powers of that bully pulpit to help children and parents begin to figure out ways that they can eat well. Through the initiatives of the U.S. Department of Agriculture, they have a whole program now called Know Your Farmer, um, which is actually trying to help people connect with farmers markets. And uh, there's now there's a garden now at the U.S. Department of Agriculture office in Washington. Uh, there's a farmers market there too. Uh, all these ways that we can encourage small farming, small-scale farming, more sustainable forms of agriculture. And uh, more recently, uh, again, I think coming from uh, Michelle Obama's interest in food and health has been a $400 million commitment by the federal government to try to eliminate food deserts in the United States. And the awareness around such things as hunger and and diet and health and food deserts has never been higher. So I'm, I'm happy that you know the, these food gaps are being recognized finally and that there's some real action taking place at the same time.